Hello. Uh, sorry to hear the fan going. The um, <laughs> crazy New England weather here. We jumped from 60 degrees to 90 degrees. Um, I actually just got out of the shower to kind of help cool me off. Um, well, that's part of the reason. But anyway, anyway, weather aside, um, this week I want to talk about the Halo series on Paramount Plus. Well, the first season anyway, because there's going to be a second season at some point. And uh, but actually, before I talk about that, one thing I want to talk about mentioning that's well, it's, is it, well, it kind of relates to Paramount Plus as a whole, is that there's ads on there, like, including, on some of the shows, including Halo, as well as, um, some others that I noticed were with were, uh, Beavis and Butthead and Ren and Stimpy, and it's like, because that, that was actually part of the reason I got the service, was one was because of Halo, and the other was because there's, like, tons of, uh, Nickelodeon shows from the past 30 years, even though we're still missing some, but, uh, anyway, it's like, we're already paying seven dollars a month, so why is there ads on there? You know, like a good example was uh, t there's another streaming service called Tubi. T U B I. I don't know how well known it is, but um, that has like a bunch of old movies on it and stuff. It's free to download or sign up and download and use and everything, make an account, whatever. Um, the reason it's free is because there's ads on there. If you're watching a movie, you know, and then like. 15, 20 minutes, there'll be a 15 second ad, then another 10 or 15 minutes, there's another 15 second ad. That's why it's free. But with Paramount Plus, it's like, you have both? And these are long ads, too. Like, you know, it's like 90 seconds of ads, so it's like, why, why are we paying if there's ads on there? Shouldn't it be one or the other? Anyway, that rant aside, um, let's talk about Halo. Um, it was kind of disappointing, you know? It, I mean, it had its moments, I will say that. Um, <clears throat> like, I didn't like... Well, I, well, I didn't like it, I guess. I, I don't... I should say I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. You know, and there's... You know, hold all comments to the end, please. Uh, <laughs> but then, you know, there's those that really liked it. There's others that despised it. And, hey, that's fine. Like, whatever side you're on. Like, because... You know, I go... I kind of go by the old saying, to each their own, you know? <clears throat> so it's like... You know, if people loved it, hey, that's fine. I respect that. Same if, if people hated it, that's fine too. You know. Um, that being said, what, what was? And I'm gonna kind of, kind of back and forth with this. Like, I'm not gonna just go like, oh, here's the good things, here's the bad things. I'm kind of gonna go all over the place. Well, uh, let's start with the acting. It was kind of subpar. Like, you know, it was. Eh. One thing that was kind of cool was that they got um. Drawn a blank on her name. Jen something. I'm sure some, plenty of you know. You can let me know in the comments, which, unless I remember it during the video. Uh, the woman who voiced Cortana voiced her in this, in the series, which was kind of cool. Um, you know, obviously all the other <clears throat> characters were played by different actors and stuff, but it was kind of cool that they got the voice actors for Cortana. Um, like I said, I've drawn a blank on her name. I know it's Jen something. Like, anyway. Um, <clears throat> but then... The action, which... I'll get to more on that in a second, but the action, when there is any, was very good. Like, um, you know, speaking of the action, a lot of the CGI and stuff was kind of unimpressive. Like, I mean, it was fairly good, but, like, eh, I've seen better. Like, and I'm not saying, like, CGI has to be amazing or anything. I mean, hell, The Matrix Reloaded... The scene where Neo is fighting all the Agent Smiths, you know, the CGI for that scene is very dated, and yet I think it's one of the best scenes in the franchise, or, hell, um, the 97 Spawn movie, the CGI in that is very dated. And I still think that's a great movie. Um, but, yeah, the action for the, in this was, like I said, it's good when there is any, because that's the thing, there's really not a whole lot of action in this. It's very... Very heavy story driven, which it's okay to have a story to build something up if it's done well, which in this case, because mm, it was like, you know, for a, <clears throat> for, a, <clears throat> you know, Halo games are known for like their fast paced action. Of course, they do have a story, but the story in Halo games, you know, are basically to, like, you give you an idea for what's going on, and they kind of build up for the action and everything. With this, it's kind of uh, so like because that was the, like I said, this was very heavy story driven. Speaking of the story, um, 
One thing I should note, I, I've never read any of the books. Like, I mean, I played all the games and stuff, but I never read any of the books. I just wanted to make that up on the link later. Um, but, <clears throat> um, what was I talking about? Where the hell was I just going with this? Oh, yeah, the stories. That's another thing, is there's multiple stories going on at once. And it can be kind of hard to follow, which, again, you know, there's been plenty of movies and TV shows and books, comics, video games where you have multiple stories going on at once, but it, 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 so most of those, well, maybe not most of them, but a lot of those are done well. This kind of wasn't. Um, so it was the care, the, the story, like, first of all, you have, like, Master Chief, you learn about his background, which I'll get to more of that in a moment. Um, like his childhood and everything. Um, then there's this girl, um, Mackie, I believe her name is, who's like, as a child, she was abducted and raised by the Covenant. And then, you know, then there's this girl, Quan, who was like the daughter of a resistance group and stuff. And then, this is something I definitely agree. A lot of the, one of the common complaints with the series, and it's something that I definitely have to agree with on. Is that Quan in her story was just so boring? Like yeah, it was just like like there was literally a whole episode dedicated to her. And it was so like bland, you know. It, it's, it's, yeah. Um, one thing I did like about her story though is there was that um, this guy I'm throwing a blank on his name. He was kind of like an old friend of Chief. Like he was this guy who kind of went AWOL during Spartan training. Like, he was supposed to be a Spartan, but he went AWOL and just went, like, underground, so to speak. And I, I did like him. He was kind of cool. But, um, other than that, her story, yeah, her story sucked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So then, that's another thing, is the way they did Master Chief was, um, well, for one thing, they, he had, he had his helmet off for probably about 90% of the, of the season, the show, which, you know, that, I, I understand why that obviously pissed people off, because Master Chief was known to be, like, an enigma, um, you know, and it was, like, that was the thing, like, the, I actually really liked the first episode, like, it was, the action was great and everything, but then, toward the end of the episode, it was, like, he took his helmet off, and I was, like, okay, I was not expecting that, and I was, like, yeah, you know, I mean, it was, like, okay, I mean, I'd be okay with that idea if maybe they, like, built up to it or something, you know, like, you know, maybe doing, like, the fifth episode or something, but no, they do it right at the beginning, and then, like I said, he has his helmet off for, like, 90% of it, um, which I know in Halo 4, if you beat it on Legendary, you get, like, he takes his helmet off and you get, like, a brief glimpse of his face, but in this case, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know about that, <laughs> the way they did it was kind of, because that was the other thing, you know, like I said, they, you know, you learn about his childhood background and everything, um, like, he, you know, how he was abducted by Halsey as a kid and stuff, you learn about his background, and it was like, uh, okay, like, <laughs> um, it was fine, there was a part where he actually removes his, um, what the hell do you call it, the, um, just like, the pe something pellet, again, I'm throwing a blank, sorry, um, the, you know, it's like, on the, you know, sp something Spartans have on their, their spine, which basically controls their emotions, so they don't have any emotions, or they're more in check, and then they focus on the mission, so he takes his out, um, and he actually, well, you see his ass, the actress, <laughs> a lot of people started calling him Master Cheeks, then, uh, another, one of the other Spartans, uh, Kai, because that was another thing, there was a lack of Spartans in this, you know, it was, it was just Master Chief and then three others, um, called Silver Team, right, or Kai, uh, Ring, Ricks, something like that, and Soren. So, um, you know, the, one of the other Spartans, uh, Kai, who's she's a blonde, I, I kind of liked her. Um, she took her, she found out that Chief took out his, um, pellet, and then she does hers, and then she, like, takes the blood and, like, streaks it into her hair, makes these, like, <laughs> these, like, red streaks in her hair or something, which later turned to pink. And then, um, Maris, Dr. Marissa, or whatever, um, who was, what was I going with that? She, let's just say she's running tests on the Spartans, so she asks, she's doing Kai, and she, like, asks her to remove her helmet, so Kai takes her helmet off, and Marissa, like, sees the streaks in her hair, and she's like, 
okay. <laughs> but I actually thought that was kind of funny, to be honest. Like, I just thought her reaction was kind of funny. Um, then, you know, now, if, the other thing was, you know, speaking of, like, you know, the characters, but, oh, actually, before I get into that, oh, my God. It was in, well, because, well, they, they're all after this artif ancient artifact, which can be used for a number of different things, like, uh, the character Maki, Maki, whatever the hell her name is, uses it as, like, a, um, can use it as a weapon. She touches it and, it, like, shows him, like, his childhood background, like, where he came from, what happened to him, and, and everything, which, again, that never happened in the video games, and to my knowledge, it wasn't in the books, either. Um, or even if it was, like, you don't, it's not like you see his face or anything, but whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, the Covenant are active so they can find Halo, and so, <laughs> yeah, it was an, so, there was, actually, there's two of them, because they, you know, that's why, yeah, well, um, the Covenant is after the one that the, the UNFC has, so they send Maki, Maki, whatever, to, like, infiltrate the UNFC and obtain it, but then she kind of has a change of heart, and she, <sighs> her and Master Chief fall in love, which, <laughs> Um, no, I'm, I'm not against love stories or anything, but it's just, you know, it's, it's just, you know, because I, I enjoy all different genres when it comes to movies and stuff, but, and video games and stuff, but it, it just doesn't really fit in with me well, or at least with Master Chief, or any Spartans for that matter. So yeah, they fall in love, they form a relationship, and then there's a scene where they get intimate, if you will. <laughs> Probably the most controversial thing about the show. Um... <clears throat> <clears throat> you, know, it, you know what it reminded me of was the scene from Alien 3, when um, Ripley sleeps with that doctor, um, what was it, Clemens, I believe his name was, and it was just like, oh, okay, what was the point of that? Was that, like, really necessary or something? Because that's the thing, you know, with this show, is they kind of really tried to humanize Master Chief, which, I actually have kind of a bit of a theory with that, which I'll get to towards the end. Um, one thing, um, and then, you know, Halsey, which I know about her, like, with, from the games, like, who she is, what she did, and, like, what she's guilty of, and everything, you know, so, and it was, it was kind of to awesome, like, towards the end, how everyone, like, turned against her, and, like, you know, the like, Kai was trying to kill her and everything, that was actually kind of cool, which, like I said, I know about that from the games and stuff, that, you know, everyone was, yeah, but, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, and then the last episode, because there's nine episodes, um, there was quite a bit of action at the end, which, like I said, that was the thing with this, the action was very lacking, like, there was some great action in the first episode, some great action in the last episode, and some good action in maybe, like, the middle, but that was about it, Ever the, other than that, it was very heavy story-driven, um, and there was a little bit of action here and there, but mostly it's very heavy story-driven, um, which, like I said, that's okay in some cases, but in this one... Um, or at least the way they, they did it, I should say. With, and then, so in the last episode, um, because Cortana is in it, which, but, um, <clears throat> yo, you know, I, I thought it was kind of, yo, because I, I know where she came from, like, in the game and stuff, yo, she built through, like, living tissue and stuff, and it was fairly well done in this, yo, the way they did her, and, like, I, again, it was great that you had the, um, <clears throat> her voice actress, for the series, or the sh season, I should say. Um, so then, yo, what's her name? Uh, Halsey is like trying to have Cortana take over Chief's body completely, so to make him like the ultimate weapon against the Covenant. Um, but Hal um, Cortana kind of turns against Halsey and is like, yeah, I'm not doing that. So um, in the last episode, there's this battle between the Spartans, yo, Chief. Silver Team against the Covenant, and, um, two of them are wounded, badly wounded, like, you know, they're kind of losing the battle, I guess you could say, um, Rix, Riggs, whatever, I'm drawing a blank on her name, you know, one of the, the other, you know, she gets hit by a, um, pla or stuck with a plasma grenade, uh, Soren gets hit with a fuel rod cannon, I believe, so then Kai's, like, trying to help them out, and then, you know, Chief is, like, it's like, we have to retrieve the artifact and save Silver Team. Katana's like, you can't do both. And Chief's like, I want you to take control of my body. 
you know, so they kind of, she's like, oh, I can't do that, you might not come out of it, and, you know, they go back and forth, and then, so then Chief, like, just puts himself in the line of fire, and the Covenant are, like, pelting him with plasma and everything, lasers and everything, so then Cortana's like, all right, she takes control of his body, and then just goes completely ballistic, like, killing, like, Covenant, like, blah, 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 which was actually kind of awesome, I mean, it's like, you know, it's almost like, it was like, it was almost like, now that's the Chief, that we know and love, so to speak. So then, you know, he retrieves the artifact and, <clears throat> you know, you know, saves Silver Team, they escape. So then, as they're on the Pelican, you know, the UNSC ship, not the or anything, but, you know, they're on a Pelican, like, flying away, and Kai is piloting, and, um, Chief is kind of just, like, sitting there, just like, you okay, Chief? Yeah, Kai. He's like, you okay, Chief? And there's no response. You know, it's like, Chief? And he's just like, sitting there, like, this blank stare on his face, so it's, like, that's kind of the theory I have with, you know, maybe that's the direction they're going, and maybe with Season 2, Chief will be more like himself, like, he won't remove his armor or anything, you know, maybe, it, it, we, you know, it's, like, will Cortana still have control of his body or something, like, or maybe they'll become more in sync with each other, because he was, like, the whole thing, <laughs> he was kind of just, like, get out of here, go away, leave me alone, it was almost like that theory in Legend of Zelda, hey, listen, you know, so, like I said, you know, maybe in season two, he'll be more like himself, like, or the chief that we're familiar with, so to speak, so, yeah, overall, the show was, like I said, it was disappointing, but it has moments, I, I guess, I'd give it a six out of ten, you know, maybe that's being a bit generous, but, that's just kind of my opinion, like I said, you know, I go by the old saying to each their own, so, Yo, know, for those of you who watched the series, what did you think of it? And if, if those who haven't, like, are you interested in it? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.